The governor told the joint session of the legislature today, with many Democrats not present, that he does want to work together to pass his budget bill, but easier said than done. Fox 11's Mark Leland has balanced coverage tonight from Madison. And Mark, you spoke with legislators on both sides, and each side seems to have a different view. They certainly do, Tom. You know, Democrats and Republicans both share the same uh, desire to do what's best for Wisconsin, but actually coming up and figuring out what is best is something they just can't agree on at this point. And even as the governor is asking for both sides to work together, some Democrats tell me they're not even sure their input is even wanted. From the moment Scott Walker entered the assembly chambers to give his budget address, it was clear the sides were split. Republicans cheered, Democrats remained seated and quiet. We need a commitment to the future. Both sides listened to the governor's budget plan to cut spending by $4.2 billion and reduce structural debt by 90 percent and not raise taxes. Democrats wondered how would it all happen. Well, it, it, it is positive on the surface. However, you got to dig in deep and find out what the details are for how they're going to do that. Republicans agree the details do need to be worked out. Local units of government overall will actually see a net increase in revenue plus savings. But they do believe the governor puts them at a good starting point. Uh, the devil's in the details, and that's what we're going to go over. So we got the very broad stroke. Um, you know, it's it's great that you know we want to balance the budget. This is a difficult budget. It's hard to balance our budget. It's difficult work. I'm glad someone's here, and we have good leadership in our governor to do that. While the governor is making plenty of cuts in shared revenue to municipalities and counties and in state aid to education, the key to making up the difference is eliminating collective bargaining rights in the budget repair bill. The governor says offering tools to cut costs and not jobs or programs. We're trying to give the tools to local government. We're trying to set ourselves on a fiscally sound course for the future. Democrats say that unfairly targets state workers, and there has got to be another way. Snippets come out, $900 million cut to education. Uh, Ivy University in my district, UW-Green Bay, of course, is going to be very affected in your area. And we just want to really know how does this all pair and where is the governor going? Now, Democrats tell me they were not briefed ahead of time on the governor's plan, which they say does show a little bit of a lack of a good faith effort in working together in the future. But they say they hope that is not the case as this all pans out in the future. We're live in Madison. Mark Leland, Fox 11 News. Mark, it was a little bit quieter on the protest front today, but with the ongoing visible disapproval of the governor's plan, are Republicans beginning to feel any pressure to deviate from that hardline stance? Well, you know, I asked a couple of the uh, state senators uh, here today, the Republicans, and they said, no, they're not feeling the pressure. They, they are aware of the protesters, and they, they uh, accept that, uh, what they're doing out there. But they say when they go back home to their constituents, the constituents understand what is in the governor's plan, they say, except, of course, for the state workers uh, that are their constituents. And they say even those people understand that something drastic needs to be done, Tom. All right, Mark, thanks very much. Mark Leland, live in Madison again tonight.